the grammar is so bad. <laughs> black men love black women, of course, but they're used to it. White men like black women differently, I guess that's what they're trying to say. For a white man, having the opportunity to date a beautiful black woman isn't one he's likely to forget soon. Black women are exotic and alluring for almost all white men, and you'll definitely feel a lot more desire with a white man than you will with a black man. Just look, just look at the praise that white men often give black female celebrities, and you'll see that there is something about the black feminine form that they simply can't resist. It's called, they want to fuck them. Yeah, black men want to fuck black women too, but come on. You know, th these lies, man. Oh, God. For just nine ninety seven, you too can learn how to attract, meet, green light and date white men for only nine ninety seven. If you want to up the ante in your ebook, you get a free gift as well as audio. There is a twelve ninety seven package, one hundred and twenty six page PDF book. Everything you need to know how to meet, attract, green light, date, and attract and sweep off their feet white men. Free two week trial of the sixty day dating challenge. Listen anywhere and anytime you want with your audio book. But the complete package is nineteen ninety seven, ladies and gentlemen. Physical, digital, and audio. We get all of it at one price. Women listening to fucking audio on how to attract these motherfuckers. Twenty dollars, a hundred and twenty-six page book on how to be with a man outside your race. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, my god, bro. Oh man. You have to really be desperate to want to even attract them, to even want to be with them, to even want to have their children, to even want to date. You have to really be desperate. You really have to be desperate. I've seen some desperate black men, too. I get on their ass. Trust me, I'm not playing favorites here. But this is pathetic. I don't see no black man coming up with no goddamn book on how to attract white women. Women are literally fucking reading this, listening to this in their fucking ears. When they're listening to this shit through headphones, they're getting fucking brainwashed and indoctrinated, bro. Whoo, man, I can't believe, I can't believe this is a fucking thing. This is sad. This is really fucking sad. Our ancestors, the women who were raped by these men, the black men who lost their lives to these fucking men trying to defend their families. This, this is so disrespectful, man. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Are people getting killed out there? They've been getting killed out there. And we got women who should know better than to do this. And men who should know better than to do this still doing this shit. This don't even look right. It doesn't even look right. So I said, you guys want to talk about Nina Simone, but Nina Simone was laid up with a white man. And so was Maya Angelou. So was Maya Angelou. But you revere these, 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 these women. It's amazing. This black man is an embarrassment. This is Diddy. We know who he is, Sean Combs. On the beach with a white woman known as Tina Louise who is in a relationship with former 90210 star Brian Austin Green. They literally just broke up and Diddy is on the beach with this woman kissing on her. Man, the, the, black men like this, I have no respect for. I have gotten on the black women that date outside their race, but black men like this, I got no respect for you. You get some money, you get some fame, all of a sudden, fuck black women, you go to the white woman. Go, you ain't going nowhere else, going right to the white woman. Didn't his ex-wife die this year or last year in 2019? This is him moving on to better pastures? Grass ain't greener, brother. It's not. I use that term real loosely. Pathetic. Black men like this make me sick to my stomach. I don't understand how these black men are with these women. I don't understand it. Because I will never be that horny or starved for sex in my life that I would ever want to date outside of my race as a black man. I don't give a damn if someone feels that it's offensive that I said that. I'm saying what's true to my heart. I have never deviated from that. I've always stood by what I say and I continue to stand by it to this day until my dying day, until my last breath. When I see men like this, they're pathetic. Just like when I see black women with white men, they are pathetic. 
They move right on from people in their own community and go outside their community with the very people who have caused their ancestors deaths. And they act like this is a new day. These are the same motherfuckers that will get up in front of a camera and say we all need to get along and stop protesting and, you know, slavery is in the past. We need to move on. They're all not like that. Man, I'm not trying to hear none of these motherfuckers because when I see what they do in their life, I know what team they're playing on. And I'm not part of that fucking team. Literally, there are a ton of beautiful black women out here in this world. We got African women out here, black men. What makes you go to the woman of another nation, the woman of, a, of another race? What, what, what is the allure of it? I don't understand. And I know it's not all black men because there are many black men that come to my channel and they love my slideshows on black females. They love black women in general. So black women should not be believing the hype thing that every single black man is chasing after a so-called Becky or, you know, white woman, if you want to call her that, if you don't want to call the actual Becky name. OK. A lot of us ain't doing that. A lot of us just want to be with you. And that's it. That's why we don't like you with those men. We hate it. We don't like it. Just like you say you don't give a shit when we're with those white women. But you do. That's why many black women are acting out now and wanting to be with those men or just being with those men to get back at black men. Yes, there are some so-called sisters who have this inkling for those men. I don't know why the fuck they do. I don't know how the hell they were raised, but they like those types of men, whatever. The true sisters out here still remain the black community. The true black men out here still remain the black community, and they remain amongst themselves in love with each other. But this swirling shit is something that is a huge problem, just like racism. You can't get rid of it because you don't want to. You don't want to fight it. You want to embrace it. You're comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with it. And you shouldn't be comfortable with it too. You should not be comfortable with it at all. Got black men out here messing with white women and non-black women. These are non-black females. Non-black females who disrespect black women calling them roaches. Black women still supporting women like this. Makes no sense. Non-black females who try to pass off as black while promoting their fucking disgusting ass narrative of ratchetness. It's sickening. You people told me about it. Jeannie Mai getting engaged and about to be married to Jeezy. Of course, you know, if you can't get yourself a non-black um, woman who is a biracial, you can always just get yourself a very non-black woman, period. Go after an Asian woman. Man, I tell you, some of these guys, man, these are the reasons why there are black women out there that believe that black men are no good, that why black men don't have any want or need of them. And I'm telling you women right now, there are black men out there that are not practicing this shit and want to be with you. When it comes to black women, accept no substitutes. And yeah, I'm in this video right here on an African woman, a South African woman who is not a swirler. She's in a relationship with an... African man. That's what I like to see. Black love from both sides.